What's up? Yeah, I'm in my new place. It's still very much so surreal. I'm so thankful for it. Hold up. Uh, Yo, what's good? It's King Salu. I'm back with another video. If you don't know me, my name is Praise Salu. I am a full-time content creator and model and student at the moment. And today we're gonna do a QA. and a I said we're gonna do a QA and a first before I go into the whole like house tour thing. First of all, there's still like little stuff that I wanna get done. I'm almost there though. I still barely moved in. If you look at my cabin, it's like nothing there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> today, we have a bunch of questions over 150, 170 questions, I believe. We're gonna try to get through all of them. I really wanna try to get through all of them. So it's gonna be a long video, hopefully. And uh, yeah, hopefully you can sit around, watch, you know, enjoy. Oh, and apart from that, I'll be unboxing just, I'm gonna be doing stuff around a crib so I'm not just sitting here looking like a goober the whole time. What are your goals for the next five years? Not gonna lie, I've always been told not to really answer that question on camera or just like be telling people like what you want to do in life. So I'm gonna just hold off on that one, not gonna lie. Three things I want to accomplish this year. I want to like just publicly speak somewhere. I don't know where, don't know how big. Just like be able to go and just talk to some people or anyone about like life, that'd be cool. I just got a tote from Homie at uh, Unfinished Legacy. Wow, I'm cleaning, I ain't gonna lie. Number two, I want to, my homie gave me a goal, my homie Los, uh, he gave me a goal of hitting $250,000 this year. That'd be tough, that'd be cool. Money's not everything, but like, that'd be cool to say at 21. Um, and lastly, I want to get a property. Yeah, I ain't going lot. Either my own or just have one. I feel like that'd be nice. But this tote, wildfire, bro. I needed a black tote that wasn't the black Uzumaki joint. And this one, quality is amazing, not gonna lie, unfinished legacy as you can see. Um, and... Okay, I'm gonna just keep going at this point. And he's only nice to put over the shoulder. Actually has a little length to it, you feel me? Nothing too crazy. Next question, where are you shopping for furniture? Because I heard couches are expensive. Thank you. Shopping at a spot called Value is B-A-L. Y O U because I've seen a couch on there that was wildfire and I've been wanted it even when I moved into the other spot. That's where I'm looking. And then Wayfair for a rug, dresser, and my bed that I want is also from value. Oh, and Ikea. I've been going to Ikea for everything. I want to go grab a shoe rack from Ikea probably today. Maybe. So y'all might see that. Where do you want to travel in 2023? I definitely want to hit. I really want to try to hit Bali this year. I heard that Bali, they changed their um, things where you can't like stay in the same room as the other gender unless you're married. And that's very cool with me. But I feel like with my homie, uh, I don't know if that's going to work out for a pro. So hopefully we can hit Bali or else. Oh, I want to hit Seattle. Yeah, Washington. Don't ask me why. And I also want to hit Oregon, like Portland. My homie's been talking that joint up and I have a friend out there that'd be fire. What keeps you motivated slash grinding besides having to pay bills? To be very honest, it's just the thought that I know, not the thought, just like knowing that what I do impacts people and like it actually touches people and to a level of like they're bettering themselves. That helps me out as well because it's like I'm helping people and the gift that God gave me, I'm able to impact people's lives and that's why it's up to me. I got these from a uh, small brand, he gave me an email, his stuff was fire, so I was like, I'm definitely dropping, no problem. Um, time Away, is the, oh, I broke it. Time Away is the brand. How does it feel to move into your first place alone? It's still barely clicking, but it just feels nice to like have all creative control and just do as I please. I don't be doing nothing anyway, but like, I can just be in here cooling, like by myself, play my music as loud as I want. I can yell, scream, all that, because I have done so already. <laughs> this joint, it's like a corduroy jacket. This joint hard. Pull up. Time away. On the side, say made with love with the elbow pad type joint. This is fire. All right, next question. How do you do your devotion and how do I start? Because I feel spiritually lost right now. Me personally, I use the View Version Bible app. They have a thing called Plans where you can literally just start a plan. There's a bunch concerning like what you are specifically looking for. Like if you need help in anxiety or depression or like stuff like that, you can just search it up, find one that you feel like works for you, and 
just start it. You literally read a devotion, like they give you a devotion to read, and they give you the Bible verses that pertain to that devotion. You can do as many as you want or as little as you want. I have two right now, and one is mainly like devotion focused, and then the other one's mainly reading the Bible. So yeah. please give me a quick tip. Which app should I use to edit my videos using my iPhone XS? I be using InShot, not gonna lie. I use InShot all the time. If you, if you see my content creating on an iPhone video, I spoke on a bunch more on that, so. Hopefully I pin that somewhere. What motivates you in life? The purpose I've been given by God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just knowing that I'm meant for more. I'm not. I'm not meant to be just lounging around or just wasting my life to do nothing. Like I'm meant to speak to others and help people. In that, if that makes sense. What is my favorite part of the house? I might just have to say the view. Well, there's not really much, but like the view is pretty dummy, like it's, it's a hard. But at the same time, I like the living space mainly. Just like this area is just calm, it's just vibes. It's bright, especially during the daytime. And I don't have to worry about stuff. It just has a bright aura to it, if you get my name. It's the hoodie with the hood. It's like a flannel type hoodie, but like, yeah, it's, it's clean. I like it. It's gonna force me to start wearing brown and different colors more, so I like it. Bro said, where are you from? I'm originally from Jersey. I was born in uh, North Jersey and North Beth Israel Hospital, you feel me, gang, gang? I moved down to South Jersey and Willingboro, and that's where I'm really from. I can't say Boro probably lives inside because I ain't go to Willingboro, but. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm from Willingboro. You are my greatest gift 2023 aside, being alive and will always be. What has helped grow your relationship with God? To be very honest with you though, it has definitely been a few like hiccups that I went through that has been like, yo bro, are you gonna stop playing with me and like take me serious or are you just gonna kick the bucket for us? Cause there's been a couple of times where things could have went very bad and it's because I was just making bad decisions, so. Cause I've already been in the church, I was born in the church and I know all about that, but I wasn't taking them serious and essentially now I am. These is hard. See, it's a time away, and there's something else at the bottom. I think it says made with love. Oh wait, home sweet home on this side. Oh, made with love. Oh, look. Yeah, these are fire. I might rock these today. What's your biggest difficult in managing your time? Okay, so I'm guessing the hardest part of managing my time. Wanting to do things that are a little bit more fun than what I have to do, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like there's times where I'll just be wanting to like play the game and or just sit down, just relax and watch TV. But in reality, if I do that, I lose out on the time that I could be using to do some schoolwork or edit a video or get stuff done, essentially. What Bible app do you use? The Uversion Bible app. What editing tools or apps do you use for your content? I use Final Cut Pro as my main. I used to use Premiere Pro and InShot. Oh, and uh, Lightroom. Also, how are you able to merge school and everything? It seems so stressful. Ha! <laughs> Not gonna lie, yo. School and content and stuff, it's just like setting aside, like you just forced to set aside time and you have to realize you can't have the attitude of just, I wanna do it, uh uh, because that's not helping you. And I literally had that realization yesterday. Once I sat down, just like, yo, just get this work done, got an assignment done, um, and started another one. And the class I went to, I realized a lot of the classes I'm in now because I changed my major to more, to be more oriented like to what I do, it's easy in a sense because I'm already doing everything that my major is calling for, so I just apply my real life experience to it, so it works. I just bought I just bought a, a, a filter for my, my blue air filter because I had that drink for a little minute and at this point it's not filtering anything. How do you feel to be, how, how, how do you feel to be so fresh? Um, Studying for my MSc program and finding it to, I guess, finding it hard to get a job off campus. Any tips? I haven't had a job since like COVID. Well, finding a job in general, one, you have to think of uh, like a few things. You have to think about your schedule in terms of school, what you can handle, and what the job is willing to offer, like in terms of leeway. After that, you just have to like weigh out your options on, in terms of the jobs around you, or like the, the places around you that you can work for. If you have to work late hours, you have to make that sacrifice to get less sleep, to get bread. You gotta do what you gotta do, but if not, then you know, you're gonna try your best. Uh, what do you do at your free time? Because I tend to sleep on my free time. I wanna be productive. To be very honest, the free time I have is usually in the bed in the morning and probably once I get everything done at night. I don't really have in the day free time because I'm always 
doing something or I give myself something to do. Might be bad because I'm always doing something. My homie Carlos would always be like, yo, you never sit down. And that's very true. But I'd rather be busy than bored. Y'all see how the old filter looks, bro? Okay, advice on furnishing your apartment. I don't got none, actually I lie. So, learn this from my homies because they are the ones I'm essentially getting advice from because this is my first, first real apartment. Essentially, you're not gonna get everything that you have in your apartment within the first week or like the first few months or whatever. Like that's just unrealistic because the amount of money that you're gonna spend on all your stuff is wow, not gonna lie. I say get what you can once you get more bread or you get more leeway to buy more stuff, that's when you do it, you feel me? Remember you're not supposed to buy stuff, can't buy it more than two or three times, so I'm gonna talk. But <laughs> that's the truth of it, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Okay, so y'all see this, right? This is the new filter. This is the old filter. Sheesh. Uh, someone asked how much my rent is. I don't think I'm supposed to disclose my rent. Uh, rent is like. Um, no, I'm not even going to disclose my rent. I'm going to wait till the, the house tour. I'm going to give you all that info. Next, what is God teaching you in this season? He's teaching me to be patient. Oh my Lord. When I tell you, I'm starting to realize now that everything is not on my timing. Like, I don't control. I don't have, I'm not in control of everything that's going on. I need to start being patient and not just jump in the gun with a lot of things. If I, like, there's a lot of stuff that I probably could save money on if I just waited or just chilled out on. But because I was so eager and just wanted to just have it now, I just got it. I was able to, but I probably put myself in a bad situation because of it, you feel me? So, yeah. Someone said, when the full apartment tour come? It's the next video, all right? When I get everything that I need, I got y'all. Cause I'm not gonna have a couch for a minute, not gonna lie. Sheesh, yo, this drink dirty. Next question, sorry. Do you prefer online classes to in person or is it just the sacrifice for creating often? It's honestly the sacrifice for creating often. I got used to online classes from like the whole COVID thing, being away and not having in-person classes anymore. So I never wanted to really go back, especially because I started creating more and modeling more, which didn't allow me to just be able to just up and go to class at like 6 a.m. or something, or 8 a.m. Which is crazy, because now I literally have a, a really late class, and it gets me tight, I'm not gonna lie. But the class is actually pretty cool, the teacher's pretty nice, so I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna complain. Uh, what are your top five most important things to you? I'm gonna say God, my family, my girl, friends, having fun, in a sense, like if that makes sense. I want to, in all that I do, I just need to make sure I'm enjoying it. That's the fifth thing. I don't know how you level that or say that, but, Yes, that's what I'm coming at. Are you still a humble person? I would say so. I feel like, I don't know. I've always knew, like the only time I, I could say I was like not humble was when I played basketball and I was with my friends because when it comes to sports, I'm just a competitive person. But like, I know that I'm not like no superstar or some famous person off of this stuff. Like it's just, I'm a regular dude that just uses his gift and God bless me, you feel me? I'm thankful for the opportunity. I'm thankful for everything. I'm able to do and have, but for me, it's right to do, it's like you. What's your number one job? I don't really have a job. I guess this is it. Me on camera, recording my life and editing it by myself. It's pretty sad, I'm lie. Tell me a word in French. Uh, s'il vous plaît. Aha! My behind says, s'il vous plaît, like that's not a phrase. You know, leave me alone. Next question. Oh, how did you find confidence to record yourself out in public? It really started with, at the end of the day, are you gonna let people stop you from doing what you wanna do or do like what you like to do, you feel me? At the end of the day, you are really not gonna see those people until, like for the rest of your life most likely. And if anything, they might end up seeing you again on social media or whatever. So it's like, I'm gonna keep it pushing. I'm gonna do what I gotta do, get the clip that I need, peace out. Cause I ain't gonna be there for long. Simple as that. And if people have a problem with it, why? Like I'm over here minding my business, why you mind mine? There we go, moving much better. I really hope this picture is less than 12 pounds. Cause I'm gonna be really out of luck. How long did it take for you to start earning money from content you post? So I started really devoted content January 2021. It wasn't till September, that's when everything started to like actually pay off. Advice you can give to someone trying to follow your footsteps. Don't. <laughs> I'm not a blueprint. Like everyone is there, has their own path. You get what I mean, right? So at the end of the day, 
you're the one that's gonna have to take your own steps. And yes, you can pull stuff from me on how I did stuff, but at the end of the day, it's your life and you have to live it, you get me? Top 10 favorite shoes. I'm gonna have to say, this is no order. I'm a Mania 3s, or I'm a Mania, I don't know. My Turbo Greens, my UNC 1s, Union 4s, Bread 4s, my ALD New Balance 550s, I think that's five. Ooh, my Rookie of the Years, the St. John Dunks. Oh, my Kentuckys. I might have to say the Brazils. Yeah, Brazils, okay. Brazils or Rick Owens? Brazils or Rick Owens, because the Ricks are like very versatile. What are some inspiration words for digital, upcoming digital creators? Find your lane. Like, there's so much like content being produced every day and people think that it's oversaturated, but in reality, like there's a, there's a niche for everyone. Like there's probably something so minuscule that you think, oh, no one would care about it. That there's a lot of people. It's probably a community that follows exactly what you're talking about. So find what you like to do, you personally, and just go for it. Don't think of, oh, if people are gonna like it or anything like that, because at the end of the day, you are who you are. You can't really mock anyone else because then it will become inauthentic and people will tell. So just do what you like to do, find what you like to make and continue with it, just be consistent. Consistency is the only thing that will get you anywhere in life, I promise you. If you're consistently good at what you do, no one can do anything. They can't, they have no words against you because you, you've shown that you're good at what you do and you've shown that you're consistent with it. That's all that matters, I promise you. How much did you save before moving? I need my own place too. Oh, I want me to be transparent. I don't think I really did. <laughs> I'm young. And I'm gonna, I'll be honest, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very young, so I, I move as a young person does. Um, that doesn't give me an excuse for like moving out without having the whole six months rent saved because, I don't know, I just, there was something I wanted and I did it. Like I just made sure I could do it and I wouldn't be bankrupt if I did, you feel me? Like I'm, like I'm good enough to know that I won't have a problem when like the next month comes or anything, if you know what I mean. Can you give us a little story time on your journey with Christ? All right. Uh, oh God. So in regards to my journey with Christ, it really started since I was a young boy. Like both of my parents are pastors. I was literally born into the church. It started off me just going to church because I was forced. I didn't know any better. Like this is what I knew, it's all I knew. Obviously going through life, I started encountering uh, more of the world and like, you know, elementary school, middle school, you start learning what other kids do and what you don't do. You want to start doing what other kids do. And that's how I was moving. I wanted to be like them because they seemed like they was having more fun and stuff. Literally following them got me into a bunch of trouble and I didn't really see that getting closer to God was the reason why I got into I was just thinking, yo, I just made bad decisions. Um, and I just wanted to be liked because it seemed like I wasn't being liked and people weren't being nice to me. So it was like, yo, bro, how do I be liked? You gotta do what other people were doing. That's what I was telling myself, right? When that's not really the case, just letting y'all know, you do not need the approval. Hey Siri, turn off my TV. Thank you. You do not need the approval of other people if you're like just, I don't know, going anywhere new or just like doing anything because at the end of the day, you are you and they are not you. Most of the time, they're probably doing something they don't need to do. Oh, frick. Over time, went through a bunch of stages. I've been through a lot of like stupid stuff and I fell off so many times. Like I used to think my relationship was good and then I go do some dumb stuff which is like the complete opposite of him. And I used to think that he didn't want anything to do with me and stuff. But I started understanding later on in life, around like now, that my history doesn't mean anything compared to who I am and him. So uh, yeah, that's a short little story time. I'm, I can't really go in depth. Next question, when are you coming to Nigeria, Chris? I don't know. Do you actually want to move to Toronto and why? Toronto would be the place I'd move to if I want to up and take everything and just like start a new life. Not start a new life, but just leave everything in the past, to be very honest. Mainly because Toronto, I have a lot of people there, so it's not like I'm just moving away from everything. Two, the vibes are great. The people are nice. The In terms of industry for content creators and stuff, because it's so like not saturated, I would still be able to get work and I would be able to still do well because I am good at what I do. How to build your confidence. Um, You have to realize that no one else should have any influence upon you. No one does have any influence. Like, at the end of the day, you choose what you're trying to do. Don't let other people influence you. 
And if you want to do X, do X. If you're thinking about other people, you're not going to move. If you're trying to wait for other people to help encourage you or push you along, you're not going to get anywhere in life. You feel me? As long as you have confidence in yourself, you can literally do anything. Like, for real, for real. I really hope this doesn't fall. Where am I at mentally? Mentally, I am at the point of I'm content with literally everything. Like, exactly where I am in life, I'm happy. I don't need anything because everything I need as a person, I have. Like, I have the money to pay bills. I have the reach that I'm supposed to have to get out to people and help people out. I got a bunch of shoes and stuff that I like. <laughs> I got the games I like to play. I got the friends I love. I have everything that I need, so there's no point on wanting stuff. Now it's just create what you're supposed to create. I want to be me. That's what, that's where I am now. I'm at a point where I've really blocked out the noise of wanting to create for other people in terms of, oh, will this do well or will this not do well? Or frick, I'm just, all my stuff isn't good or stuff like that. I'm at the point where I create because I want to help people and I create because I like what's out, what I create. You feel me? If that makes sense. I really hope it doesn't just fall off, bro. <laughs> what am I going to school for? I'm going to school for communications. <gasps> Next question. I want to start plus size modeling. So you have any tips to start modeling? I made a YouTube video all about it. You should go peek that like right there. What is something you wish you were told starting out with content creation? One thing I wish I was told, nothing lasts forever. Well, I've been through that. Literally, yeah, like nothing lasts forever. And when I say that in terms of like, there's certain heights you'll hit in content creation, right? You are gonna start expecting that consistently. Like say, like for me personally, I hit like on Instagram, I had a few videos hit like a million plus, right? And on TikTok, you need to understand that's not gonna be the case every time around. Like this is why I say being consistent is important because if you're just putting out stuff, not looking for the output on how it does, but just because you like it, that's when the, the output's gonna come out regardless. It's, it's gonna do really well, it's gonna do okay, it's gonna do horrible. It's just nothing you have control over. You need to understand that you have no control over the algorithms of these apps, and you just gotta enjoy what you do. Once you start looking to enjoy the process instead of enjoying the result, you're gonna be good. Uh, what camera do you use to make content? Well, for the past videos I've posted, I've been using my iPhone, not gonna lie to you, but a lot of my videos are from my, what I'm using right now, the Canon R6. Yeah, that's what I shoot a lot of my content on. I use the iPhone 14 Pro or the iPhone 13 Pro. How do I balance it all? To be honest, I don't. I really just prioritize like what needs to be done compared to what I want to do. And there's times where that balance shifts. So I guess that's the balance. What I need to do, what I want to do. And it always usually has to be like this. There's going to be times where it tips, but I always try to get out what I need to do. Like, especially for school now, I have to get these assignments done before like I got assignment due Friday or today before 11.59. I gotta get that out no matter what. I don't care if it's at 11.59, as long as it's done, it's done. And then I have my content schedule that I keep for myself and I have to get those stuff done. Like that's just how I feel. What is your job? Uh, content creator? Model? Yeah. How can I reach out to brands I want to work with? Well, one, you have to show the brands that you have something to offer. You can show them that your videos are good and your videos would help push out their product or whatever they have. Then, like, you give them a reason that, okay, this guy can be a good asset for us. And this, in this whole content world or whatever, everything's about what you can offer and if you can uh, execute. And that's on both ends, literally. Uh, how can I stop procrastinating? Tell yourself, what do I need to do to be the person I want to become? Ask yourself that whenever you feel yourself just sitting there not doing nothing. I want to know one advice you've ever received about life. One advice that I received about life that I wish I took? Don't drink alcohol. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alcohol just leads to bad decisions. Unless it's in a controlled space and you're good. Yeah. When are you gonna give us a room tour? Next video. Skincare routine. Skincare routine. I'm gonna make that a separate video. What are you passionate about? I'm passionate about creating. I'm passionate about sports. I'm passionate about my friends and family. I'm passionate about, well, I should've said God first. Yeah, <laughs> faith first, but that's 
I felt like that was a given, but God first. I'm passionate about making a difference in people's lives. How did you learn to edit your videos? Also, do you use CapCut or VN? Um, I learned to edit by trial and error and just wanting, to, I wanted to create stuff. I just used YouTube and looked up editing software to use and did whatever I could with it. And if I had any questions, I would go right back to YouTube and find them out. I did, I did use VN first. That was my first ever editing software that I used. Um, CapCut was, Cap was after that. Uh, CapCut I only used to do the captions though. I don't really edit on there, I don't like this software. I must confess your page is lit. How did all this begin? What motivated you? Willingness and want to just create, not gonna lie. I had things I liked like sneakers and um, clothes and I just used that to help create. What do you think about your new apartment? It's fire! How did you learn how to dress? Um, well, don't tell my brothers this, but I looked at how my brothers was dressing, and I also like was looking on the internet and stuff, and I just started to make my own style, and now I just put stuff together, you feel me? You ever come to Australia? I have not been to Australia, and I'm very scared to, I'm not gonna lie. I, I y'all got bugs, y'all got different species that I'm really not for, I, I really don't wanna, you feel me? How long should one wait to post content? Well, honestly, none of this stuff matters. Like, just, just post how you want to. Post whenever you want to post. Just post. Like, stop get trapped in the whole, like, norms or whatever that Instagram try to sell you and all that stuff. You want to post, post. That's what I've been learning. Uh, if a brand calls you for a shoot, do you get to keep the pieces you model or you got to purchase the items? Uh, you don't get to keep the pieces. And I'm got, uh, you don't get a chance to really buy the items either unless it's, like, a very personal brand type of thing. Um, top five rappers at the room and only rappers. Our top five rappers always been J. Cole, G. Herbo, A. Boogie, Sleepy Hollow, and I don't even listen to rap anymore, so this is why I'm struggling. I want to say no cap. Let's just go with no cap. Um, advantages of and disadvantages of content creation in your journey so far. You just gave me a video idea. I'm gonna save that one. <laughs> Do you understand speak your Boste Salah, my G? I understand your about a good amount and I speak not that much though. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Uh, I want to say like 56, 60. Um, I need to start running through these drinks. I ain't gonna lie. Saving money tips. I say 30 into your savings automatic, 30 to bills. Um, I give 10% to God. That's, you feel me? Usually you could give yourself 20% just for like you money and um, that extra 10% probably put into the savings as well. So make your savings 40%. That's what I be doing a lot of the time. How did you grow your page? Consistently posting what I like to do and what I like to make. That's literally all I did, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I, like in the beginning, I did follow some trends, but I didn't follow the trends like word for word, bar for bar. I made it my own thing, if that makes sense. I'm gonna stuff these bags into here so I can, uh, I'm about to go to the post office and send the giveaway winners their stuff. What about God do you love the most? I love his goodness, I'm not gonna lie. Never failing, he's always good no matter the situation. Even when you think he's not, he is good. You be going through it, the big dog is still good. Like, I promise you. Like, if you ever feel like you're in a rut or you think that he's not there working with you, just think about everything he's ever done for you and what he will he will do. And I promise you, you'll be all right. You'll be straight. What's your workout app? I like your videos, by the way, keep going. I use uh, the Shred app. Tips on finding different streams of income. I ain't gonna lie, I've literally, like my main two streams of income is just from what I like to do, to be very honest with you, and that's modeling and creating. I wanna, I wanna low-key start a clothing brand. Let me know if you guys would like to see that, because I got, I got some ideas in my head, not gonna lie. How'd you get to the point you are today? Really just God and just consistently working and consistently trying to be the best at what I like to do. How old is you, dog? By the way, love your reels and videos. <laughs> I'm 21 years old. I just turned 21 this past September. Uh, how old will I be this year? 22. <laughs> what car do you think you'll get next? By God's grace, I swear to God, yo. I'm really cut between two cars right now. A Tesla or a Camaro. Those are two cars that I, like, genuinely wanted. Well, the Camaro first. That was my first ever dream car. By God's grace, one of those two. I'm not stressing it. I got my the car that I'm using right now, so I don't gotta stress.
red flags in women, if she has nothing going for herself, like she not in school, she not making bread, she just like lounging in her parents' crib, that's a red flag. If there's arguments when there's nothing to be argued about, like just random, just like why you starting type Tommen, that's a red flag. Ugh. Um, my biggest purchase. Oh no, this camera. I think this camera definitely was. Camera was like 2,500. Maybe my flight to London. <laughs> That's up there. <laughs> Best camera would suggest for videography. If you on a budget, your iPhone. They are great video cameras. They're the leading camera in video, I believe. Like there's no other cameras that are touching it in terms of phones. It's just as good as these big DSLRs and mirrorlesses, bro. Why did you get into fashion modeling and what are good brands to shop from? I got in it because I always wanted to see myself on the H&M ad or something, not gonna lie. I just see myself in the store, which I thank God is, is happening. Some good brands to shop at. Urban Outfitters is up there. They got some good quality stuff. Abercrombie and Fish for sure. How many relationships have I been in? Two? Three? Why did you move out? Because I wanted to have a space that I can call my own and create in. Like, I don't have to worry about anyone else's opinions or anyone else's, like, thought processes and stuff. Not to say that I don't care for them. I just don't want to be a burden to anyone else. I want to be able to be myself in my own space. What is a prayer journal and how does it help you? A prayer journal is... A prayer journal is literally just a journal in which you write prayers in. Like, it's something that I started because because I felt that I wanted to physically write down my prayers and like have more thought, like process in doing so instead of just like sitting there and praying out loud. Even though that's very well, good as well, um, it was just something I, I like to end my night on. It's like journaling. I just write about what I feel. I need help in. It kind of recaps my day as well, just like my thought process. So as I read back my journal, um, you can see what I was praying for before and like how God has helped me through it. That's how I see it. What would you say was the hardest part in transitioning into a new stage of your life? Leaving everything else, everything that's in the past, in the past. There's gonna be times where you have thought process where you just wanna, um, like hit up old people, old friends or whatever, like see how that person's doing or whatever. No, they were meant to be in your life at the moment, they're meant to be in your life, simple as that. I mean, that's just a fact of the matter. Tips on staying disciplined. It starts with you really wanting, like what do you want for yourself in life? Do you wanna sit there and just be a regular dude? You just wanna be a goober? Or do you wanna be someone that like accomplishes what they feel like they're meant to do, you feel me? Like if you know the things you have to do to get where you want to be, you can't not do them, you feel me? You have to act on every opportunity you get and you can't just be lounging around because every second is a second you can't get back. Simple as that. How do I make it so my content reaches more people on IG and other platforms? Despite doing what you want to, like making content that you wanna make, you also have to be smart and see what's being um, pushed out on these platforms. Like if the shorter videos are doing well, try to make shorter videos. Like if it's a certain style of video that's doing well, try doing that as well. Uh, and at the end of the day, you really, there's really nothing like that works perfectly every single time, you feel me? Sometimes it's not gonna do well. How do you deal with negative comments or negativity in general? I don't, the people that are negative or whatever, I just thank them for their input, that's it. Uh, how did you learn to read and study the Bible effectively? Practice, I was so on and off, but then once I realized what worked, which is literally just being consistent and not trying to just overwork yourself in reading. Home screen, wallpaper. Well, actually, my, this is my wallpaper. Be who you needed when you were younger. That hits me a lot. And this is my lock screen. All right, let's get ready to head out. I got a red light. Would you ever grow your hair and try dreadlocks or something? I kind of want to. Nobody, everybody I tell that I want to like do them and be like, no, don't do it, don't do it. Y'all let me know, should I grow my hair out? Cause I will. I'd do it, I'd do it for like a year. Just grow my hair, man, say man. Are you planning on using your degree at all? And if not, how did your parents react when you told them? I really don't have much plans to use my degree. It's honestly just nice, it'll be nice to have. That's how I'm looking at it. And that's how my mama made me look at it. This is like my career, this is what I wanna do. And if anything, they've been praying for me in this career so I can get better ideas and stuff like that. So I'm so thankful for that. Someone said, how long did it take for you to make your first big amount of money? I don't know, but everyone's amount of money, everyone's 
it's like thought process on how, how much a lot of money is. It's different. Like when I first when I first deal, that was like twelve fifty or fifteen hundred dollars. That was a lot to me. What's your plan in twenty twenty three? Become consistent and being me. Making stuff I like, making stuff I create, and being consistent in God. Started the y'all strong, and I'm gonna continue that. I got everything I need already, so now it's just keeping it. How many siblings do I have? I got five siblings. I got five siblings. Four older brothers and one younger sister. Another red light. Equipment for the Get Ready With Me videos. I ain't gonna lie, them Get Ready With Me videos have been the best thought that I've come up with. They are like super low on any type of equipment. If you have a phone, just set it up and don't move it at all. Just get ready in front of the camera. Um, best way to find a manager for creators. Rock out by yourself, independent for a little minute. You really have to be careful about who you want to manage you because some people won't do nothing for you. Other people will. You just have to choose wisely and you have to ask around for any creators, any other creators that may be with the agency that you're trying to sign with or any manager, you know? How did you get to know Shayvon and why did you move? I said Shay, my fault, bro. Uh, Shavon, I got to know him. Honestly, he made really good content and like my homies, uh, they knew him and then he followed me. So I checked into his content to see what he was going about. And he was tough, so I was like, all right. And then we linked up and the rest is history. Not a question, but proud of how you, far you've come. You got a lot of people rooting for you. That's love. That's love, for real. Taylor, I appreciate that, yo, for real. What was your favorite experience so far in life? Best time of my life? My mom and my dad, they were like, it almost made me tear up because like they were telling me how much they were proud of me in terms of all this. Like she was like, I see my son on the screen. And I'm like, yes, that's my son. Like, I just, I don't know. Ain't nothing better than make your parents proud, you know? So that's a big one for sure. So $145 later, uh, my packages have been sent and all the giveaway item individuals have will receive their packages. Is your process for shooting videos more spontaneous or do you shoot specific shots? Uh, both. Sometimes I know there's like a specific way I want something to look and like a certain vibe I'm going for, so I'll set that up. But sometimes it's just I'll throw the camera somewhere and it looks valid after the fact, so just thankful for it. What was 2022's best lesson? Um, stop lying to yourself. You don't have to be anyone but yourself. And be patient. That was... Yeah. What that say? Yeah, I am. I am. Alrighty, we're in the home stretch. What's one tip you can give to a fashion influencer that wants to grow? One, have good fits. Two, make sure your clothes not wrinkled. Create your own lane. Like, have your own style. Like, what you do. Like, you feel me? Everybody be making different videos and stuff, but like, there's something that makes it just you. You feel me? So, try to do that. Why did you start gymming? That's the last. This is the last question, by the way. I started going to the gym because. Oh, I remember, it was in high school. I was wearing like the polo shirts and I felt like you could see my nipples through the shirt and I was like, uh, I'm fat, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And that literally just made me start going to the gym and I was doing all chest work, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You know what's crazy? Now, you can still see my nipples through the shirt but it's just pecs and not like fat. So, there was really no point in any of that. But, that's it. That's the, you feel me? The uh, Q&A. Appreciate y'all for sliding and watching the whole video if you did. Um, yeah, I'm finna go do a shoot right now. And I'm gonna record the house tour soon. Soon, you feel me? And all the other videos that I said I would. Hopefully you enjoy it. Please don't like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, my camera about to die too. It's perfect time. All right. <laughs>